affects Mike in my ear, and then no appeal from him. Oh, he's having a, he's having a game, isn't he? Matthew Potts, he's having a terrific game. Just run away off a thick edge. You, you often get that when bowlers are bowling from this nursery end. Mitchell was just looking to defend that straight. Slightly just runs down the slope and took a thick outside edge. That bent bounce and that just a little movement down the hill. of the bat was the key to keep that down though for Mitchell he should be thinking short legs in yes but it's a run scoring opportunity somewhere else so we're going to see a boundary yes we are no we're not it's a brilliant piece of fielding down in the deep <laughs> barbecue yesterday to diving full stretch on Lords today and uh Something you'd be used to here, Kevin Peterson, just replacing your divots. Big, heavy divots. Too steep. There's a brilliant bit of fielding. I'm going to get away with it. I think he might. Yeah, the commitment we saw Stuart Broad earlier. Deep square leg. This is fine of that. Fantastic. Brilliant bit of fielding. And commitments there, isn't it? The fielding's been excellent. The catching's been brilliant. Come an option for Stokes. Does play the short ball well, really well. There was an excellent stop uh, 20 or so minutes ago from Broad in a similar position, and that evades him. Yeah, he's very quick onto that pull shot, hook shot. Broad has been busy in the field all test match. He did some leather chasing yesterday. And he's doing some at deep square today. Mitchell likes that shot, that's why there's two men back, hoping he will top edge one. Oh, big booming drive, and it's fired off the outside edge down to the fence past Johnny Bairstow. Well, it's a brave shot. When you see the ball swinging at the other end and you've got Anderson running in, it's a brave shot to try and drive on the up. Didn't actually do that much, but he went hard at it and it went flying through past third slip. Well, Mitchell has been pretty watchful, save for when the ball has been banged in. He does like the ball banged in, but that came out of absolutely nowhere. Had a reason to take you off. Oh, that's gorgeous. Through square leg, square mid wicket just went with the swing absolutely nailed it broad only had 10 15 yards to go to his left he hardly moved this was really good timing bang right off the middle of the bat and also how new zealand will play parkinson they could see it as a real opportunity to go at him and get 20 or 30 off him and suddenly the lead's over 100 oh and again this time passed the feet of Stokes, back-to-back -back boundaries for Mitchell, back-to-back -back for New Zealand. 90 for four. Definitely been a change of mindset from Mitchell after the drinks break. It may have been a, a message from the dressing room. It may have been him and Tom Blundell just working it out for themselves. And look, we're not actually going very far here. We're just getting stuck. Let's change the tempo. Well. Fourth test match, half century for Daryl Mitchell. Came to the crease with his team in some trouble at 35 for three. And a half century at Lords to go along with Tom Blunders. Feel pretty good at the moment. He'll want more. Yeah, the crowd appreciates good batting. So do his teammates. They'll appreciate the fact that their lead is now 141. Very good innings. Again, all around the ground. Oh, 
pulled nicely off the splice of the bat. And again, Broad was interested for a while. And again, Broad has to give chase. On the two occasions that Mitchell has kept his hands low and wanted to go aerial, he knows he has to then hit it well forward of square. And on both occasions, he hasn't quite middled it. Enough on this occasion to get to the boundary. How do you get a man? I'm trying to work out. You always want 12. Rolls his wrists on that. That should be four. It is four. Just a slightly different line. Same length from Ben Stokes, but it was tighter. So what Mitchell could then do, slightly work his way inside it, the line of it a little bit more, get the hands through, went through square leg. Hey. Thick is outside edge. Down the slope. Chase is futile. And runs continue to flow. And Jimmy Anderson straight away just turned around, walked back, threw the head back and said, oh, here we go. <laughs> it's very miserly, Jimmy. Gets a nice delivery that goes away, finds the outside edge, does everything right. Look at him. Seen it far too many times before. Jimmy, hasn't he? <laughs> that is nice. Anderson slouches his shoulders and trudges back to his mark. It's going to be a teaser for Stuart Brawl, who... <laughs> no. I don't think we even need the third umpire to bother with that. Yep. Brawl turns umpire, signals four. He's been chasing some leather today, Stuart Brawl. It's followed him a wee bit. Oh, that's a, as good a cricket shot as we've seen for a while, actually, that. That was... Jimmy Anderson looking to bowl that big in-swinger, targeting the stumps, and he just waited on that. Errol Mitchell just waited for it nicely. Bottom hand comes through, punches it through that gap. Lovely timing, good balance. Keeps the head as still as he possibly can and as upright as he possibly can. There was Stuart Broad. Jart. That is a gorgeous shot. Wonderful way for him to finish the 60th over. Frustration for Anderson and England, 186 for four. Three fours in the over. And just going back to a point you made a moment ago, Wardy, that now's an interesting time for Ben Stokes because my thought would be to try Parkinson from this end, from our nursery end, so he can spin the ball down the slope. The last few overs have just started to go for some runs. It's a little bit more difficult to bring your spinner on. I feel like he's particularly a, a debutante spinner when all of a sudden you stay in the Drives, lovely. Daryl Mitchell, last ball of the over, last ball of perhaps day two will bring about a boundary and it will move Daryl Mitchell to 97. How much sleep will he get tonight? <laughs> Wonderful day. An afternoon in particular, from a New Zealand point of view, is finished off in style by Daryl Mitchell. That stroke there means that he's just one shot away from the magical three figures. It's going to take him some time, though. He'll get in. He'll uh, soak up the applause of his teammates as he walks through. A little bit of recovery, and he'll try and get some good sleep. But all in all, that is why the applause He's coming for these two because they've played superbly well. 108 runs in the session to continue today. Yes. He'll sprint one, come back for two, and will want the third. Will get the third. What a moment this is for Daryl Mitchell. He might not have played in this test match had Henry Nichols passed a fitness test. He has taken his opportunity. He has a second test match hundred and a one that he will remember for the rest of his days here at Lords.
absolutely brilliant. His first test 100 was a race against time when that man on left to screen, Kane Williamson, was about to declare against Pakistan. This one under different pressures. New Zealand was in all sorts, 35 for three, trying to build a second innings lead, and he has led that. Above 300. Wasn't trying to get that square. That's where the gap is, but you sense that Mitchell was trying to drive that a little straighter, and in the end, the combination of the new ball and the slope just took it off a thickish outside edge. It's probably the perfect example of not looking for the boundary, but just doing everything right to make good contact. And when you do that here at Lords, particularly if you're batting from the pavilion end, you've got that slope to work with. It's almost a perfect start here for New Zealand. They've got one of their players past that three-figure mark quickly. Oh, yeah. Good one from Broad. Just run it down the hill. Squared Daryl Mitchell up and has taken... The outside edge. England needed that. It ends a very fine innings from Mitchell. Broad strikes. Well, it had to be something good because Daryl Mitchell, all day yesterday and even to start today, was looking as if he was going to set himself in for that kind of challenge to Broad and Anderson and the likes makes them just step up a notch. It needed to be good. Daryl Mitchell has played superbly. Enjoy the moment. New Zealand, 251 for five.